Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. Reading tarot and teaching you witchcraft is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Those of you guys new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos coming out. Now we are here getting ready to kick off December. I know we're a little bit behind. It is the busiest season, as you guys know, everybody getting their cleansings, their readings, workings done to be able to kickstart off the new year. If you guys are interested in any of the services, please click the description box below. You'll be able to find our online store there uh, for all the services that we provide. Let's get into it. This is going to be the monthly reading for December 2022 for all signs, beginning with Aries all the way to Pisces. You guys definitely stay tuned for the new year reading and predictions as well that will be coming up soon. Let's get into this. Hope you guys are as excited as I am for the holidays. Hope you guys are healthy, abundant, successful. All right, here we go. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my ancestors and archangels. Please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely. Allow me to see here, sense beyond, receive the messages loud and clearly for all of my viewers. Give us guidance, wisdom, and understanding so that we can guide them on their journey towards answers, removing any doubts or any fears. Hope you guys are ready for Christmas. Do you guys celebrate? Comment below. Let me know. We are big on holidays over here, so we're pretty excited about that. All right, we're going to start off here with Aries. Aries, how are you? Hope you're doing amazing. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on with them? Give us three parts. Past, present, and unfolding future here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, we're starting off here with the King of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Five of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Chariot. Two of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Justice card. All right, my lovely Aries. So what I'm seeing here is for some of you guys, you guys are definitely dealing with a lot of emotional uh, difficulties right now. I feel like you guys are really being challenged on an emotional level. For some of you guys, this could be the representation of going through a family, um, a family situation. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been a loss, some type of pain that is being endured. I see it more as a fam family dynamic. Um, there is a lot of, there's a lot of energy here. I feel like there is a lot of outside energy as well. So for some of you guys, you could be feeling a bit emotionally unstable right now. Um, there's almost this feeling of sorrow for some of you guys. So I'm sorry if you um, if some of you guys are experiencing the physical uh, loss or the physical death of someone that you loved, for others of you, it could just represent um, some type of hurt that you've been carrying and you've been dealing with, trying to overcome this, trying to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, being basically guided to have more clarity. And there's going to be a lot of revelations that start to unfold. Now, like I said, I do see a family dynamic. So for some of you guys, it could be family drama that, it, that you're being experienced right now. For others of you, it could be um, miscommunication. I feel like it could potentially have something to do with egos uh, currently on the way. So what I mean by that is I'm seeing almost uh, misunderstandings that are caused by ego and pride. Um, instead of speaking about it or addressing the situation head on, I feel like People just keep stirring the pot and the more hands that go into the pot, the more drama is unfolding. So I would highly encourage you guys for this month of December to try to be in control of your emotions and to not necessarily take everything at face value. So what I mean by that is don't take things personal. Take it as with a grain of salt, uh, Aries, because I feel that communication that's coming through is not necessarily clear. It's like I said, a lot of hands are steering the pot and they're just trying to create a lot of confusion, a lot of chaos. Um, 
I do see finally at the end of December a bit more clarity. I see you really becoming more empowered or being more in control of your emotions, more in control of the situation. And I do see that there is some type of reconciliation that happens. Now, this could be romantic, uh, romantically as well, but I feel more so that it has to do with uh, family, um, brothers, sisters, um, parents type of energy. Um, and like I said, I feel like there is almost the balancing that happens at the end of December where you guys will finally come together or everyone will get on the same page, put egos and pride aside and be able to see more clearly um, and make decisions uh, more clearly. Like I said, I am sensing if there is a loss in the family, I feel like there is a lot of drama surrounding this because not everyone is agreeing. Perhaps you guys are dealing with finances, perhaps there is almost a feeling of entitlement or people trying to make decisions really without your input, Aries, and I feel like this is really frustrating. But like I said, I do see things progressively uh, stabilizing by the end of December and being able to be on the same page. And like I said, nothing to worry here because I do see that you will be coming out um, victorious in this situation or people will be able to see your point of view and respect um, or even take that advice for this month of December, Aries. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus for this month of December. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022. What's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022? Taurus. Okay, here we go. And we are starting here with the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Six of Cups, Page of Wands, the Strength card, the Magician, and the King of Swords. Okay. So there is a lot of, I see you really working really hard, Taurus, towards mastering something. For some of you guys, this could be your business. For others of you, it could be like focusing really strongly on career and on your finances. And it's almost like a feeling of becoming so consumed um, with achievements. Um, not necessarily to be a bad thing, but they are telling you that it is uh, necessary to nurture and to give time to other aspects in your life. This could be romantic wise. This could be family, friends, colleagues. This could be just being a little bit more social. Now, I do see that there is something that you're not really wanting to, you're not wanting to face. And for some of you guys, this could be um, something that is connected to uh, family or friends. Um, it could be advice that's coming through for you. It could be someone that is a higher up or a superior that is trying to give you advice. And it's almost like seeing it almost as a, like a judgmental or coming off as very judgy. But what Spirit is saying is take the advice, heed the advice, pay attention to the signs. Because right now what's going to happen for the month of December is I see a lot of people coming into your life, Taurus. And it is not coincidence. It's not an accident. It is fated. And all of these people that are coming in, they're coming in to, to help you set the course uh, towards walking towards your achievements and the things that you're trying to manifest. For those of you guys out there that have been really focusing on material things and focusing on, you know, creating or making um, or achieving goals, I see that unfolding for you, but again, I feel like you're really being helped or you're going to really feel like you are being um, supported in the month of December. And like I said, take the advice or listen to the advice that is being given to you at this time, Taurus. 
this is to the best of your interest. It is not only uh, going to be very helpful um, seeing people that are very uh, open or very um, giving to you, um, and it could potentially be giving as well as like finances. It could be a raise that is unexpected. For others of you, it could be money that comes out of nowhere as a surprise. But what I am seeing is, again, a lot of people coming towards you to try to guide you. These are, um, like I said, no coincidences. It is people that are coming in at the right time or being around the right people uh, at the right time, the right place uh, that is going to open a lot of opportunities for you. Uh, stay in your power, Taurus, and really know and understand that whatever it is that you are focused on right now, whatever it is that you're putting your energy and efforts towards, you will definitely see results of that. But it is important and necessary to make sure that you're putting your energy and focus towards positive things and not negative because right now um, you're able to draw in a lot of opportunities, but it is necessary and important to have focus, to know what you want to be direct, to be clear in the goals or aspirations that you're trying to achieve, you will achieve them. But what they're saying here is make sure that it is positive thinking, my lovelies. All right. All right. Now let's go to Gemini. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with Gemini's? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And if you're interested in a yes or no answer, go ahead and wait till the end of the video. I will be doing a yes or no um, question with the readings and we will give you the answer. So... All right, Gemini, what's going on with Gemini? Here we go, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, we have the Empress here. We have the Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Hanged Man, the Chariot, Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the Wheel of the Year. All right, Gemini, right now there is almost this feeling of, I'm not going to lie, I see it more like a feeling of wallowing in uh, the energy of not feeling abundant. So for some of you guys, it could be financial strains right now, it could be financial difficulty. Um, but there is almost this element, there's a cycle that is ending for you guys and I feel like in the past, perhaps you could have made decisions or um, you could have made financial decisions that were not necessarily thought out. Um, there was this feeling of, you know, comfortability or feeling like things would not change. And then all of a sudden there was a major shift or a major change. For some of you guys, it could have been changing a job. For others of you, it could have been uh, being laid off, for example, Um for others of you, it could just be like doing less hours. And this has created uh, almost a bit of resistance when it comes to your finances. Now, there are almost this uh, this energy of arg like argumentative type of energy. So for those of you guys that are married, it could be that you're having marital problems right now because there's a lot of stress uh, in regards to finances. Now, what I see unfolding here is the need to understand that we create our own reality. So the more we think about the responsibilities and the burdens and the not having enough, the more you create that. And the understanding of being able to propel you to get into a different type of vibration has a lot to do with your way of thinking. They're telling you stop being so pessimistic, especially this month of December, Gemini. I feel like you guys are coming out of the struggle. You're coming out of difficulties. But if you really want to push forward in a very quick, like basically turn around the situation really quick, it has a lot to do with the way you see or the way you view life. 
And, and the best way of describing it is almost like what I tell, you know, um, what I tell my subscribers when I do um, spell work. It is about shifting your reality. And the only way to shift is to disconnect from what is currently happening and focusing primarily on what you want to happen. So it's detaching from the current situation. It is trusting the process. It is trusting God. It is trusting that things will fall into place to the best of your interest. And through that process, being able to detach yourself, you start to think of the positive or you start to put energy towards positive and therefore positive things start to happen and your situation starts to turn around because you're putting a lot of energy, you're putting a lot of force, you're putting a lot of traction towards what you want instead of what you don't want. Um, the way of, of, of seeing it or the easiest way of explaining it is think of it as life being the television and you're sitting right in front of the television in your couch and you're focused so much on what's happening on the TV without realizing what is behind you or what is around the corner and what is around the corner could happen within a matter of seconds and your life completely turns around. Um, so that's the way of seeing things, the easiest way of describing what it is to have not only faith, but to trust in the universe that that good things come to you or that good things will come to you. But it's about taking that power back and not feeling helpless in the situation. Now, I do see things progressively stabilizing, but again, it has a lot to do with the way you're viewing the situation right now. So my advice would be to ground yourself, to focus primarily on what it is that you want and directing that energy and that focus to ultimately give you or experience that result. Now, what is unfolding at the very end of the month, it is, like I said, a situation that is turning around. Start with gratitude, Gemini. Count your blessings. I see you guys like a bit fed up or a bit frustrated, maybe even a little bit antisocial. Um, and what they're telling you is that you need to get out of that hole, of that energy, of that stuckness, of that, um, you know, being stuck in the mud. They're telling you to really open yourself up to try the best you can to be around positive people or be a little bit more social because being there at home in your bed watching TV is not really going to help you um, and it's not really going to help shift your energy. So pay attention to that because like I said, the end of the month, I do see your situation turning around very rapidly in a very positive way. You do have the wheel of fortune here. So the struggles, the difficulties, um, maybe even fighting a little bit too much with people because you're frustrated, um, being patient with that. And like I said, being focused on what it is that you want instead of thinking of what you don't or what's going wrong in your life right now. Um, not doing that is really going to propel you and uh, move forward in a very quicker motion. Um, the experience that you start to see unfold. Okay. All right, my lovelies. And it's something that I tell everyone. Uh, life is never perfect and we are tested in many different ways and yes situations can change but just like they change for the negative sometimes they can change rapidly for the positive it is the way we react to those situations so keep that in mind Gemini all right now let's go to cancer let's see what is unfolding for cancer sun moon rising Venus for the month of December 2022 Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. And we have the Empress again. Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Page of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Star, the Fool, Page of Wands and the Five of Cups. Okay, so there is this energy of really contemplating, um, contemplating a relationship or a connection that you've been dealing with. You know, the first thing that came to my mind was feeling, um, feeling a bit disappointed or feeling a bit not really supported. It's almost like people around you, the people that you've chosen to be around you uh, would expect a little bit more support or emotional support. 
And I feel that instead of that, it's almost a feeling of like them judging or attacking you or criticizing you. And there is this feeling of really understanding that has a lot to do with the choices that we make because I do see you rapidly rapidly understanding that and adapting I see you guys cutting out people that are not um, necessarily good for you or cutting people that have progressively let you down or that have even affected your your outcome or your goals and aspirations in life um, there is this feeling of wanting to revisit a situation from the past where perhaps there was some type of miscommunication for some of you guys. It could have been like other people uh, getting involved in the situation and creating something bigger than what it was. And with that, um, some type of ending or some type of um, pulling away from someone that meant a lot to you. Um, could have unfolded and there is this feeling of wanting to revisit or wanting to uh, revisit that situation to see if things could be mended um, and I do see the possibility of that however what they're telling you is that right now it is crucial and very important to walk away from anything that is not working for you cancer and I think that that's the ultimate lesson in this month it is the having the courage and the loving yourself enough to walk away from what is draining you, what is creating a lot of tension or a lot of chaos or drama in your life, and being able to choose yourself ultimately. I do see the, like I said, the ending of some type of cycle here, and it it's, it's painful or it's difficult um, because obviously if there was like an example, if there was a connection, a friend, someone that meant a lot to you, other people could have got involved and created this anger or animosity towards you guys. And there is this feeling of wanting to, um, like I said, mend the fences. But there is something here that what they're trying to say is that right now is not the right time. Whatever is falling out, whatever is ending, whatever is coming to a culmination, it is time for you to embrace that. Because you need to go towards the next cycle of your life, being able to embrace new beginnings. And with that new beginning, um, wish fulfillment and happiness is there. Um, but you kind of have to get out of your own way. Sometimes you could be your worst enemy, Cancer. Um, sometimes you try to uh, maybe fix things. And instead of fixing them, you make them worse. And what they're telling you right now is... If, as an example, if it was a relationship that came to an end um, and there is like a wanting to communicate and you keep texting them and they're just not responding, um, instead of making it wor or better, you're making it worse because you are or they're feeling like you're trying um, to drag them back, drag them back into your life or like you're trying to manipulate the situation. And I'm not saying you are, but that's how they can perceive it. So you don't want to do that. What they're telling you right now is, <coughs> excuse me, it's embrace the endings that are happening right now because it's necessary. Though sometimes it could be painful, it is um, to the best of your interest. Why? Because you're going towards something much more stable and you're being able to almost regenerate your energy or be more motivated or more focused for some of you guys, if it was a relationship, it could be that you kind of lost um, sight of other things in your life. Maybe you weren't as uh, you weren't as focused in your career or in your finances. And now that this relationship is uh, coming to a culmination or to some type of ending, um, you can see that how greatly it impacted you because you were distracted. So what they're telling you is focus on the things that are working right now. Put your energy and effort towards that. Don't try to hold anything that is no longer serving you. Um, that is the, you'll be able to go into um, next month, you'll be able to go into the new year uh, on a clean slate is what I'm hearing. So whatever, whoever is falling off your, you know, off your board, let them roll out. Um, it's time for you to learn to put yourself first and 
uh, to really focus or I should say refocus on the things that are going well in your life right now. All right, Cancer. Now let's go to Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect for this month of December 2022? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Leo. How are you, Leo? How are you doing? All right, here we go. Let me take a sip of my coffee because my mouth is dry. I've been doing consultations all day, you guys. Healings and cleansings. All right. We're starting off here with the Five of Wands. Oh. Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Moon. Interesting here. King of Pentacles. The Hanged Man, Chariot, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, Leo. Leo, you may start to experience like you can't really trust people right now. Um... It's almost like you're questioning people's authenticity, um, their true motives. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're intuitively picking up on people's um, low-key, I wouldn't necessarily say hate, but low-key competition with you. Um, and for some of you guys, it could even be like feeling a bit, like as an example, if you have a friend or a best friend, um, and lately you've been feeling like they're coming off a bit judgmental. It's not that they're being judgmental. It's that they're trying to nitpick because they're trying to make you more, uh, what's the word, insecure. Um, and the reason for it is because there is this feeling of competitiveness around you. Um, so it could be that you're extremely focused right now. And because you're focused, uh, you're driven right now. And people are just like feeling like you're rubbing them the wrong way. Um, and I, I'm not saying that you are. I'm saying like that you're purposely doing it. What I'm saying is that that's how the energy is being perceived right now. Um, and you're kind of catching on to those like uh, backhanded compliments type of thing. And you're like in your head about something. You're in your head about, you know, is this person really... Uh, genuine um, are they critiquing me are they giving me like constructive criticism or they're just like speaking out of their ass because they're trying to uh, make me feel a bit more insecure about myself um, it is competitive energy and I would just advise to you know if the person is feeling off or they're just giving you this vibe of not being completely you know honest or transparent uh, my advice would be just create some type of distance there because I do feel um, like there are a lot of uncertainties around you right now and it's because of the competitiveness that you may be experiencing. For some of you guys, this could even be at work as well. Um, people that you got along with amazingly may, you know, lately been feeling you're acting a bit weird or you go to the lunchroom as an example and they all stay quiet when they were talking before you walked in there that type of energy. Now, what they are showing me here is there is almost this need to create some type of discipline in your finances. So this could represent starting to, it's going to be very important and crucial to start making goals that you want to achieve or that you want to make happen for 2023. And the reason for this is because right now, it is very, very important for you to be direct on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. The reason I say that is I see the page of pentacles, the king of pentacles and the knight of pentacles in a row back to back. So finances is going to be something that is going to be increasing, that is going to be stabilizing or growing for you in 2023. But you do have the moon at the top 
which is a bit of confusion. It's a bit of fogginess or not being able to be clear and concise. And you have the hanged man at the bottom, having the need to see things from a different perspective. So if you're not the type to set goals or, or long-term goals, this year, the end of this year, the beginning of next year, it's going to be crucial and important for you to set long-term goals. Why? Because you will accomplish them, Leo. And I feel like you will accomplish them to the point where you've never experienced um, such success uh, when we're talking about career and finances like you will experience in 2023. But like I said, only if you start making those long-term goals now. It is time to no longer wait for things to happen for you, Leo. It's time for you to take the reins of your life and make things happen. And a lot of it comes from the moon and the hanged man, which is, um, in essence, our subconscious and connecting with our subconscious or being aware of what we're able to manifest on a subconscious level into the material plane and being able to, therefore, uh, experience it here in the mundane. So again, I would highly encourage you guys to start setting long-term goals. You will be surprised. You will achieve them at a very quick, fast rate. It is about feeding your spirituality as well as the physical plane to be able to experience the true possession, the true materialization of what you're trying to draw into your life, Leo. All right. Now let's go to... Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgos, my lovely Virgos, my crazy Virgos. <laughs> All right. What is unfolding for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Oh, we got cards popping out. So we have the Queen of Swords, the Two of Swords. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of December 2022. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. So we have the Queen of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Page of Cups, the King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Nine of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Star card. All right. So you're right at the center of your reading, Virgo. Um, hmm. I feel that for a lot of you guys... Um, when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about finances, um, there is almost this Okay, so what I'm hearing is having to experience a lot of disappointments or a lot of letdowns usually create something within us that when things start to go good in, in our life, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's career, whether it's your finances, there's almost this, you know, this little voice behind your head that is contemplating or constantly reminding you of how quickly things can change or waiting. It's almost like waiting for the other shoe to drop. And Though those experiences have been difficult in your life, Virgo, it is important to understand that they were lessons. And in those lessons, um, we will continue to experience them until we learn to master them. There is almost like this feeling of, I see you constantly going on the move, like you just keep going and going and going, and you don't take a second or a minute to just sit with yourself and, you know, ask yourself, like, are you burned out? Are you okay? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you eating? Are you, you know what I mean? Like, you don't really check on yourself the way you check on everyone else, Virgo. And I feel like right now, it's very important for you guys to do that. Um, 
I see you guys really, what they're showing me is like certain chakra points being blocked. And that's an indication to me that you are currently experiencing a lot of imbalances. For some of you guys, it could even be on a physical aspect. Like when I hear imbalances, it usually indicates hormonal issues. Um, for others of you, it could be like uh, if you're the type that never gets acne and all of a sudden you're getting acne, it's because your hormones are all over the place. And the reason for that is because you, you're just on the go. You just keep going. You keep going. You don't really focus or nurture yourself the way you nurture or take care of everyone else. And it is crucial and very important to do that. I see you coming to the understanding that there is almost a need to be a little bit more reserved either with your finances or what what with what you give to others. So it's almost like having a rude awakening or realizing that perhaps the people you thought you can count on are not there and they're only there when it's fun and when everything's going amazing. But when it's not, like, where are they? Are they reaching out to you? Are they texting you to see how you are, to check up on you? Um, and this realization, I would highly encourage you guys to stop being a blind eye to it. Like pay attention to the people that you choose to surround yourself with, especially going into 2023. I see you having the potential to really stabilize um, financially, to really financially grow and to bloom. Um, almost like, a, almost like a, what is it called? A glow up. Um, but what they're showing me is if you continue on with the same behaviors, from the past, instead of learning from those lessons, um, you will not be able to reach your full potential because unfortunately I see you caring too much about the outside instead of checking within. And it could be metaphorically, it could be that you are more on like what's on display and what you show out to the world than what's really happening in your house. Or it could be like realistically that you're just like just caring about the face that you show to the world without checking on yourself because you're starting to have health issues. So like I said, it could be metaphorically or it could be like factual um, in the physical aspect. And it's time that you start to nourish yourself and that you start taking care of yourself or making yourself a priority Virgo um, to be able to fully experience your full potential for 2023. All right, my lovelies. All right, now let's go to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022. All right, here we go. Libra, you have the Five of Wands, the Star, the King of Swords, Two of Swords. Oh, a lot of these cards are the cards that Virgo got. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Virgo. Two of Swords, Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Devil, King of Cups, and the Page of, of Wands. I see a lot of people surrounding you right now, Libra. And it is about guarding your energy. Guarding your energy, Libra. Taking care of your possessions. For this month of December. It is about not splurging. It is about being smart with your finances. Being smart with your money. With your time. With your energy. With your love. And the love that you give. It is about understanding that we have to create boundaries. Now what I'm seeing here is. I want to say the past month. Maybe month and a half. You've been working on boundaries. Or you've been working on what's. Like you're paying attention to what's not working. Or the people that have taken you for granted or have taken advantage of your kind soul in the past. And it's almost like a reawakening understanding of, you know, I'm much more valuable. 
Um, I know what it is that I bring to the table. So you're being more protective of your energy, right? And who you choose to surround yourself with. The thing about it is that your difficulty here, your toxic behavior is that when a person gets into your heart, meaning when you care for someone, when you get to love this person, you don't know how to say no. You don't know, like you completely forget about boundaries. And what they're telling you is that there's something you're not wanting to see here. And what you're not wanting to see is how much you give and are you receiving? Because if if you're the type of person that continuously is a giver, which you know, bless your soul. Um, usually people that have a tendency of being givers and don't have boundaries are usually the people that end up being taken for granted or taken advantage of. And I see you being picky around the people that you surround yourself with, but the people that are already in your heart, meaning people that you've already, like friends that you grew up with, friends that you've given loyalty to, like no matter their toxicity or their drama or their toxic shit that they bring into your life, you know it creates more headaches for you, but it's really hard for you to walk away or to create distance because you care for them. You feel in a way responsible to be there for them and to get them out of the hole that they get themselves in. But what they're telling you here is how much, how much is too much? And if it is draining your energy and if it's creating a lot of unnecessary drama in your life, you need to understand that that is a toxic cycle. It is a toxic behavior that you need to be aware of. Why? Because like I said, it's good to be a giver, but you also need to learn to receive. And if you have a tendency of not allowing people to give you because you're the one constantly giving, you're not allowing them to step into the energy that they should be doing. And this could be with children. This could be with, you know, you could be a parent and you have a 31 year old and you always have the need to save them. And by doing that, you're not allowing them to fully experience that lesson so that they know better next time. Like you smother them. And this could be relationship wise as well. If your relationship, you know, your partner's constantly getting, getting or receiving and they never give and um, they're not really like that thoughtful, that loving, that giving to you. You can't sit there and say that they're not like that if you're not allowing them to do that because, well, if they're not that sweet and that kind, I will do it for them. Like you can't carry a relationship by yourself. And it's time that you start taking care of your material possessions. This is your, as an example, your car, your house, um, the things that you work hard for and taking care of them um, and taking care of yourself uh, and learning to put yourself first and being honest and being true to yourself even when we have to show tough love to the people that we love. Because if you don't, you're just creating more of the toxic behavior. So again, it is about boundaries. Is It's about being mindful of taking care and protecting your things and not just the physical things, but yourself as a person and your energy, Libra. All right, now let's go to Scorpio. Let's see what's unfolding for Scorpios for this month of December, 2022. Like I said, you guys stay tuned. We will be um, doing the video for January 2023 and the predictions and tons of new spell videos going up. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022. Oh, we got cards popping out already. All right, we're starting off here with the Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, the Empress, Death card, Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Judgment, and Three of Cups. All right. Good for you, Li uh, Libra. <laughs> Good for you, Scorpio. What I'm seeing is you guys 
finally not giving a shit about walking away from people that are just not appreciative of what you do. I see that there in the past, you've dealt with a lot of imbalance, a lot of instability because of boundaries, because there is lack of boundaries. For some of you guys, it could have been taking on responsibility of the family, um, responsibility of friends or respons responsibility as an example of your parents. Um, you know, just doing more than you should. And it's almost like at this point, what I'm hearing is I'm sick of it. And a lot of it has to do with how you've been criticized or how you've been critiqued. It's almost like the more you do, you, you can never do enough because people are never satisfied and they always have something to say. Now, what is unfolding here is the Empress with the death card. It is understanding that you're giving and you're loving, you're nurturing and you've gone above and beyond. But at this point, the death card is transformation. You're understanding that for your own well-being or for your health sake, you got to learn to put boundaries and to allow people like if they don't appreciate what you do, then be without me type of thing. It's like I am realizing now like I go above and beyond. They don't appreciate that. Fuck it. I'm done. And you start to pull away. And by pulling away, more people have more things to say and to criticize. But it's like whatever it is that they're saying to others, others are like, well, about fucking time Scorpio's doing this. <laughs> because everyone knows what you've done and that you've been there and that you've helped them out. And this could be kids. This could be with your kids, with your grown kids. This could be with family members. This could be that you've taken care of family members. Um, it's about like you've ne you've had no limits to what you do for other people. But at this point, it's like nothing but drama and people always like just lashing out with their mouth, with their tongue. And it's like at this point, you're just not giving a shit and you're cutting ties, like flat out cutting ties. And what they're telling you is good job about time. Because the five of swords is like if they want to sit there and nitpick at the one thing you don't want to do when you've done so many things, like let them. Let them sit there in their unhappiness ass and criticize and critique whatever it is that they want to criticize and critique. At this point, you have nothing to prove. Like you've done what you've had to do and you can finally let people take care of themselves because you know what, at the end of the day, blessings to those that are there for you to help you and support you, but it's not their responsibility. And if you've continuously done that and they just don't appreciate that, then it's time you start to worry about yourself and your happiness. And I feel like you cutting off these people or cutting off the people that are just draining your energy is really putting you in a very not only peaceful uh, energy or environment, but it's also you're also able to fully celebrate or fully uh, experience life again without having the need to feel like you're being restricted because you have all these people to take care of. So again, good job for you, Scorpio. Keep doing that. If you haven't done that, you will definitely experience this in December almost the feeling of like people just talking out of their ass and I'm hearing you like really the one thing I don't do and that's what you guys have to say but all the other things that I did like at this point I'm done I'm over it and what they're telling you is that it, it was about time it was about time because you don't owe anything to anyone you don't owe anything to anyone and if you've done for them good for you, bless your heart, but it wasn't something that you needed to do, especially if they're adults. Like it's time that they step up. It's time that they take self-responsibility for their lives. And it's time you stop feeling like, feeling like you're not able to fully experience life because if you do, or if you're having a good time, it's so sad because, you know, uh, my brother or my sister's struggling right now. Like that's not your responsibility. Like I said, it's beautiful when family does that, but it's not something that they have to do. And I feel like at this point, it was necessary for you to cut or walk away from those ties that are very toxic for you, Scorpio. All right, now let's go to 
Sagittarius. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Happy birthday to my Saggies. My niece is a Sagittarius, and she will be celebrating her birthday on Thursday. So, happy birthday to all my Sagittarians out there. All right, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2022. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2022. Can you guys believe we're already like at the end of the year, you guys? It is crazy. I feel like this year really flew by. Um, so many things that I it was that I've been working on, and it just feels like oh, we, I just couldn't find um, enough time. You know what I mean? Like it just felt like it went on a blink of an eye. It's crazy, but we are excited about the future. All right, so we're starting off here, Saggy, with the Page of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, Page, sorry, Knight of Cups, Justice card, the Star card, King of Swords, Four of Swords, Three of Swords, Woolly Moly Wakamole. Okay. <clears throat> for those of you guys that are currently dealing with anything that has to do with legalities with the court um i would highly encourage you guys to take care of that um so what i mean by that is as an example if you have pending tickets or if you have something that you need to go into court and fix i would highly encourage you guys to get that done especially this month um, you want to make sure that you have all of that settled and handled going into 2023. For those of you guys that are currently going to court proceedings, it will come out to the best of your interest. You will come out victorious. Um, there's almost this feeling of vindication through all the hurt or difficulty that you experience. You're finally being vindicated here. Now, what they're showing me right at the center, it is almost the the ca the law of cause and effect um putting like don't be petty this month sagittarius is the, is the easiest way of putting it don't be petty or don't try to do people dirty or don't you know don't be sneaky about things because whatever it is that you do um will come out to the open really quick again the law of cause and effect um you know, karma in essence. Um, so again, if you do good, amazing, because you will be rewarded. You will see blessings come coming at you left and right. Um, but if you are dealing with things that you shouldn't be dealing with, anything that is illegal or anything like that, there will be a major disappointment. So none of that for this, <laughs> at least for this month, Sagittarius. Um, now for others of you that are currently going through some type of divorce, some type of separation. I feel like there's been a lot of back and forth. There's almost like this frustration that's built up. Um, but you're finally experiencing peace and serenity, uh, starting to or getting to the point of being able to embrace the healing process. So I do see, and like I said, any things that are currently uh, legal proceedings or anything like that starts to become more balanced. Um, or will be resolved um, by the beginning of 2023. Um, now, for others of you, what they're showing me here is having um, having lack of clarity is something that really has affected you in the past. So what I mean by that is when you get so rattled up or when you're so much in your head, Sagittarius, sometimes you make very impulsive uh, decisions or uh, you react in a very impulsive way. And that has really triggered and brought a lot of difficulties or blockages. So if you've been experiencing like the feeling of, you know, oh, I'm really going through this, you know, bad luck or this streak of bad luck, um, it's not really about bad luck or it's not that people are wishing you harm. It's that you've been a bit irrational when it comes to certain decisions that you rushed into it without really thinking 
or contemplating the consequences of it. So what they're telling you is there is a need for you to learn to balance your energy, to not be so emotional or to not be not base your decisions off of emotion. Emotion is something temporary. You can be happy right now and pissed within 15 minutes and you make an irrational decision because you're pissed in those 15 minutes and then you're back to being happy and then you're like, damn, I really fucked up because I made a very irrational decision. So what they're telling you is that it's time to be mature about your decision makings. It is about being mature enough to make decisions with a cool mind, with a cool head, and not allowing even people to take you out of um, your emotions, you know, not reacting in in an aggressive way or reacting in a way that um, really gets you out of character because people are really testing you. Um, being able to control your emotions is a sign of maturity. And it's something that if you learn to do Sagittarius, you are not only going to become much more powerful, but you're going to be making very rational decisions and are decisions that are ultimately to the best of your interest, short and long term. All right. So again, none of that emotional type of energy. And like I said, um, There is something that you've been dealing with or you've been going through where it's created a lot of hurt, a lot of sorrow for some of you guys, divorce uh, for others of you. It's dealing with, you know, court proceedings that has you stressed. But like I said, I finally see vindication. I finally see um, clarity of the situation or open communication that unfolds in the month of December where you're able to finally move on and start to work on your healing, Sagittarius. All right, my lovelies. All right, now let's go to Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn for this month of December 2022. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of December 2022. Once we're done with all the signs, I'm going to be doing a yes or no question. So you guys can start putting your intention now. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December. Cappy, is your birthdays are coming up. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, here we go. First card here is the Nine of Cups. King of Cups, Five of Swords, Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Two of Wands, Chariot, Three of Swords. Wow, Three of Swords for Sag as well. And now Capricorn. What's going on, you guys? All right, Capricorn, for some of you guys, what I'm seeing here is there was something that you were really hoping for or looking very forward to. Um, It could have been some type of achievement. It could have been some type of stabilizing for some. It could be relationships for others, business, career, um, where what I'm seeing is almost like being able to experience or being able to almost attain it, but there is a bit of restriction that happens. And then there's a feeling of, <clears throat> and then there's a feeling of being disappointed is what I'm hearing. Like disappointment is what I'm hearing. Now, what they're showing me here is for a lot of you guys, it is about having the, having the necessity at this point right now to balance your energy Capricorn. And for some of you guys, this could be like even incurring or experiencing like health issues. Um, For some of you guys, it could be uh, dealing with things that just seem to come up and it's like, now it's this, you know, and then next week is that. And it's like a, a feeling of when do I catch a break or when do I experience a break? Um, the positive in what I'm seeing though is these things that are coming up for you, for some of you guys, like I said, it could be um, emotionally, for others of you, it could be physical, like health issues. For others of you, it could be like career and finances. 
a bit of disappointments there or a bit of frustration. But the positive in this is that what they're showing me is you're having to bring back your energy and really go over the goals or the things that you were trying to make happen to fine tune them and to continue pushing through to be able to see the result. Um, there is something that has to be either revisited, something that has to be um, looked over again. Um, and the reason for this is because it is preventing the disappointment in the future. So what you may consider right now, uh, Capricorn, as a disappointment or a setback is actually a blessing in disguise because it's not necessarily a setback. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen for you. It just means that you need to fine tune certain things in order to be able to move forward and finally see results. So as an example, what I'm seeing is for some of you guys, it could be the desire, the want to start your own business. Um, for others of you, it could be solidifying or strengthening of relationship and things are going good, but then you guys experience a hiccup on the road or a bump on the road. And there is a bit of frustration. There's a bit of feeling like, like I said, when do I catch a break? But the thing about it is that it's a hidden blessing. It's a blessing that is in disguise. It is what may feel to you like it's not happening right now. It doesn't mean it's not happening or it won't happen. It just means that you need to fine tune it. It just means that you need to have that communication. It means that you need to learn to open up and be completely honest and transparent with your partner about your needs and wants and vice versa. It is about um, if it is about partnering or partnerships in business and career, it is about sitting down and really fine tuning the contracts, uh, revisiting the contracts or looking deep into the contracts before signing anything. Why? Because you don't want to experience a disappointment later on, something that you didn't see in the fine printing. So I do see things progressing for you, though it may feel like right now there's a bit of resistance, but this resistance is ultimately for the better because then when you start to pick up traction, when you start to pick up momentum, there's no slowing you down. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like the universe is really taking care of you right now, Capricorn. Anything that has to do with finances and career, if there's a feeling like, um, like I said, a bit of like having to wait or like it's not moving fast enough, whatever the situation may be, what they're telling you is know and understand that this is a blessing. They are looking out for you and they want you to get it right and get it right the first time. So positive, positive thing here. I know that sometimes it may feel like things are not moving as quickly as we want, but you know what? I've come to understand that sometimes that spirit's way of slowing you down because when we're going so fast and we're trying to rush into something, uh, sometimes we can overlook things that may bite us in the ass later on. If we're talking about partnerships, business, contracts, if you don't read the fine printing, you may sign away, you know, something that later on comes back and bites you in the ass because you have no say or because you can't really do changes because you didn't read that disclosure. You know what I mean? So be smart about that, Capricorn. All right, now let's go to Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2022. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December. You guys stay tuned for the love readings. They will be coming up on the 15th. All right, let's get into it, Aquarius. You have the Ace of Cups, the Hierophant. Wow, the Two of Cups, King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Wow, wow, wow. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Wow. I want to say this is probably by far the most positive reading of all the signs. <laughs> Right at the center, off the bat, abundance, opportunity, success, growth that is coming to you, Aquarius. Now, for those of you guys that are single, you're not going to be single for too long. I want to say the very middle to the end of December, there is a connection. There is 
uh, a partner, a person that's coming into your life that is going to be very prominent for the next coming years. Uh, this is a genuine, authentic relationship that starts off as friendship. Now, as you guys know, Aquarians, it is crucial and very important for you to start your romantic endeavors with people that you are genuinely friends with, because that's how uh, relationships uh, progress and stabilize for you Aquarians. It is about understanding and feeling like you can genuinely trust the person and be 100% your authentic self with them. And that's exactly what I'm seeing, especially for those of you guys that have been single for a while. For some of you guys, you've been single for five, seven, nine years. And I'm definitely seeing a connection that is unfolding for some of you guys the end of December. For others, uh, second week of January is when this person is showing up or when this person is coming through. Now, what they're showing me here is going into this new cycle in your life, Aquarius, where you're much more empowered. I see you guys no longer doubting yourself. It's almost like getting to the point of understanding that you were born to be unique. And though sometimes there was almost this feeling of disconnect or this feeling like being completely an outsider, completely different. And maybe you've told many people like I never cared to fit in. There's a little tiny little part of you that wanted to be understood. And I feel like this 2023 you're starting to shine, Aquarius. You're starting to be applauded and revered for your uniqueness and for being your own authentic self. It is people really understanding, as an example, if you guys are creators or if you guys are artists or you guys do anything that is in the cre creative outlook um, or career field, I definitely see people really noticing or taking notice of your work of what you're doing and what you're putting out. Uh, for some of you guys, it could even be having opportunities to partner up with major companies that are going to help you, that are going to push you, get your name or your brand out there. And I feel like this has been long in the making. Um, being able to finally feel like you're being blessed in a very abundant way. And my advice to all of you Aquarians out there is for this month of December, going into January, stay loyal and truthful to your boundaries and to your values. Whatever it is that you value, whatever it is that you care for and you fight for and you stand for, if you stick to your guns, you will experience success. And the reason I'm saying that is because what I'm hearing is people really taking notice of what you're doing. For some of you guys, as an example, if you run your own business, it could be that uh, there's people that are wanting to work with you, but they're asking you to alter or do some type of change either to your business or the way you do business or whatever, like some type of, um, some type of, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily like a favor, but like some type of sacrifice on your part um, and what they're telling you is you won't be able to reap those rewards if at this point you jeopardize or you change up something about your business or how you are or what you value. So it's basically stick to your guns and that's what's going to bring to you not only financial stability but success. Now this could be as well in your career, whatever it is that you do, um, as an example, if you've been doing, you've been working corporate or you've been working at, you know, your job for many years and uh, you've gotten custom to just being comfortable and not really pushing yourself, now is the time to really push yourself because they will definitely see, you're definitely going to stand out for this month or the month of January where you're getting a lot of opportunities and a lot of success. But the number one key to your success is sticking to your guns and it is sticking to your worth, to your value. Like if people are trying to lowball you or people are trying to offer you less than what you usually charge, as an example, uh, don't don't let them lowball you. At this point, it is crucial and important to stick to your guns. Only then are you going to be able to see full results of your growth and advancement. Um, and this is with love as well, Aquarius. Um, at this point in time, 
to be able to draw in or to embrace the new person that's coming into your life. It is about sticking to your boundaries and being truthful and honest to what you value and what is important to you in relationships because you will be able to weed out the fake and really be drawn to the person that's coming into your life. All right. Amazing greeting for you, Aquarians. I'm excited. All right. Now, finally, last but not least, my lovely Pisces. Let's see what's going on for Pisces, December 2022. What is unfolding for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these readings, definitely comment below, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Oh, oh, oh. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Pisces, I'm still shuffling, but what I'm hearing for some of you guys, I feel like <clears throat> there's going to be this, um, almost this like uh, feeling of being tested, feeling of like there are a few little roadblocks that you're going to be have to deal with in the month of December. The positive in that is that once you're able to overcome those little obstacles, you're definitely going to be able to experience a lot of opportunities or blessings. All right, so we're starting off here with the Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, uh-oh, Two of Pentacles, Strength Card, Ace of Swords. I see a lot of rumors going on. Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and King of Swords. All right. I see a lot of third-party interference, <coughs> Pisces. Um, so it could be a lot of people really being in your ear about certain things. Um, rumors, uh, telling other people's business. Not you, but people coming to you and telling you other people's business. It is absolutely important right now to stay true and honest and loyal to yourself Pisces um and this includes relationships partnerships friendships um it is about cutting through the bullshit or having the need to be direct in what it is that you want and especially for this month of December it is like no longer biting your tongue because if you bite your tongue you're never going to get what you want so it's almost as a warning, um, learn to speak your truth, learn to be honest and to the point about what it is that you want or your expectations of other people. Um, what I'm hearing is if you don't ask, you'll never receive. So if it is a relationship and there's certain things about the relationship that you know needs working on and you never really bring it up because you don't want to upset your partner. Instead of doing a service to your relationship, you're doing a disservice because they cannot, you know, read your mind about what it is that you want or your wants and needs. And also, if you never bring up what bothers you, how are they supposed to know what your boundaries are? And having no boundaries is not a positive thing because they will walk all over them. So again, it is about being honest and being cutthroat. As you can see here at the bottom, nothing but swords baby, get it together. It is about being honest, being to the point, uh, being so honest that you hurt people's feelings, but sometimes that's necessary. And it is about, you know, a sword could be a defensive, uh, a defensive, um, weapon, but it can also be a protective weapon. So it's about not being on the offense, but making sure that you protect yourself at this point. Um, right at the center, you have the queen of pentacles with the strength card and the three of pentacles. There is something that's jeopardizing your stability, or there is something that you're questioning about your stability. I see third energy here with the three of cups and the two of pentacles could be that it's throwing you off. Could be that you've lost, um, all attention to focus in regards to your finances and career, uh, or other aspects of your life, because it could be a relationship that's draining you or that is, uh, really has you scattered or scattered energy or not fully focusing on what you should be focusing on right now. And if you are currently going through a situation where there is a need to step up or to, like I said, 
uh, create boundaries, even when we're talking about relationships. Um, if you don't start to do that, um, people will continuously keep, you know, taking advantage of that or uh, really taking advantage of you. Um, and at this point, what they're telling you is you have to be forceful and you have to be almost beastly when it comes to protecting your heart um, and when it comes to making people respect you. We teach others how to how we want to be respected by what we allow. And if you continuously keep allowing disrespect or if you continuously keep allowing friends to get involved in your relationship or friends um, coming and giving you all kind of rumors and starting drama that drags you into drama and you're never speaking up or you're never putting your foot down, what's going to happen is that, you know, the drama and the chaos will continue to um, spiral down in your life and it's affecting you and it's draining you. And at this point, it is necessary to cut through the bullshit to be able to detach yourself from anything that is toxic or that is no longer serving you, Pisces. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now we're going to uh, go into the yes and no question. Um, so go ahead and take a couple of minutes and ask your question. We're going to be answering. Let's see what... Okay, spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, give us clarity, give us insight. Allow me to see what their question is. Give us clarity. Allow us to guide them on their journey towards answers, removing any doubts or any fears. Okay, we have the Hierophant. All right, so go ahead and take a couple of minutes. We already have the Hierophant here. I'm going to pull out two more cards. <clears throat> all right second card here is the star card and the world card beautiful energy you guys so the answer is a definite yes uh the hierophant is an indication of something that's been long term or something that has been unfolding for quite a while the star card being able to be or being able to see or experience illumination uh the manifestation or um, it's starting to unfold and happen for you and the world card taking it to the next level. So it is a definite yes, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings, like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.